Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to multiply mixed numbers together without necessarily have to transform them into improper fractions. So if you are new here consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content and thanks to Isomnofu Online Mass for making this suggestion. So this is what we want to multiply. We want to multiply these mixed numbers together. You know, naturally, we used to convert them into improper fractions. Okay, let us do that first. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Divide by 2, so we have 3 over 2. Multiply by 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, so we have 8 here over 3. Whenever you have two fractions multiplying one another, Multiply the numerator separately and denominator separately and this becomes 3 times 8 is 24 and um, 3 times 2 is 6 and this finally equal to 4. So by multiplying these two mixed numbers together, you have to definitely have to obtain this 4. So let's just use it logically. You know in our previous lesson I told you any mixed number can be written as a sum of a whole number part and a fractional part. So this first one can be written as 1 plus 1 over 2. Put them in parentheses. Also put the other one in parentheses because they are multiplying one another. This is 2 plus 2 over 3. So now we want to distribute. Remember multiplication is distributive over addition. So you take the first term here, you multiply these parentheses, we have 1 into 2 plus 2 over 3. And you take the second one, plus 1 over 2, you distribute it over 2 plus 2 over 3. Though this is a long process, but just that we want to ensure you that it is possible to obtain the same value. Multiplying this by 1 will not change anything, so we have 2 plus 2 over 3 plus half of 2 is 1 plus half of 2 over 3 is just 1 over 3 because 2 will cancel 2 leaving 1. We collect the like terms you can see we have 2 plus 1 is 3 or oh, let me just do it like this 2 plus 1 then plus 2 over 3 then plus 1 over 3. These fractions have the same denominator. Once you have the same denominator, you are free to add the numerators together. This is 3 plus. This is 3 over 3. And you know 3 over 3 is the same thing as 1. And the 3 plus 1 is 4. You can see it is possible to obtain the same answer using different method. But do not waste your time doing this because you have a shortcut for doing that and it's the simplest way of doing that just to prove that this is possible as well and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day